Today we have come to Canali, the capital of the Rero district, for their weekly open air market. We have to go after lockdown. Among other things, the Rero is famous for its strawberries, and each village has its own variety. Is that, is that going to be enough? I prefer the little I still prefer the little ones too. Okay. Qui? Più piccola? Un po' più grande. Va bene? Va bene, ancora? No, no, basta, basta, basta. Go home and start cooking now. Hi, ciao, hello. It's me again. The first thing I did after the lockdown, I went to the market and get this, to get this lovely strawberry. I thought I should show you how to make Semifredo, very popular restaurant dolce. Some of you had already been eating this dessert several times, but you've never seen me making it. So because we are still on semi-lockdown, I thought you could make it at home. Prep is very important in the kitchen, as anything you cook. So I started lining the cake tin with plastic wrap. And uh, here are the ingredients. Uh, we need five eggs in this, but I already separated them. And now we're going to melt the sugar. If I could show you how to do it, to switch on, switch it on. This is 100 milliliter water with 150 grams of sugar. Likewise, this is another one. This is for the egg white. If we have, while the sugar is melting, we're going to puree the strawberries. It does not have to be really, really fine puree. Not like the sauce which I'm going to show you later on. So, just like so. Just like so. It's clean, so I have it on. Question to you. If I don't have a food processor, how can I do it? If you don't have a food processor, you can crush it in a bowl with fork. But it might be a little bit chunky. Ooh, yeah, which is too. no problem at all. So here we go. The sound of the machine is not noisy. It is not pleasant. <laughs> so can move it. Okay. Okay, well, I want to show you the sugar is melting really nicely. It's almost syrup. Wow. But this is what we need, this consistency consistency it should never have any coloring it should be clear as crystal so, question to you would it help to stir it no never stir never stir when you're melting sugar no no this is, i can't tell you how many times i make this dessert but this particular process adding the sugar melted sugar and it's hot to egg yolk is still nerve-wracking, so pay attention. Light revealing the egg yolk. I beat in the egg yolk lightly before I add the syrup, melted sugar. So before I add the melted sugar, I'm going to be really, really fast. This is the key. You have to be just fast in order. As soon as you pour the, the sugar, you have to beat it really fast. Otherwise, the eggs will cook and it's not what we want. Okay. Okay. Now, one more. Okay.
Uh, looks like you're really giving a thorough beating. I wish. But while I'm doing this, check the other sh sugar, melting sugar, for to go with the white. Egg whites. Look how pretty it is. Now that's mascarpone, right? Magic. It, that's the same sort of thing as a, a cream cheese, like a it Philadelphia or something like that. Correct. Philadelphia is probably the closest they can find in America. In, in any countries, but I know that um, I know that mascarpone is is available in any countries too. When I was living in London, Philippines, or even Taiwan, I found it. So more beating. Now I'm going. Now is the, the the strawberries. We don't need a mixer. Just pour it over. Oh, look at the color. Yummy, 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 yummy. What is going? Okay. Every bit, every bit count. This. Just show you there. Look how beautiful the color is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So we'll keep this on the side while we're going to do the egg white. Put that on the side. Now I'm ready to beat the egg whites, but make sure this is clean really clean otherwise the egg whites will never become too fluffy so, so well so so let's still so let me start first with okay to get this this stage with time to put the egg whites stand back because it's very hot it can be dangerous actually Fast, really, really fast. We need, we need some PPE here. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, yes, well, this is. Mixing, mixing, it's a lot of mixing here. But, 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 so, I have done, I have, yeah, 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 wait. Now, put it back, more mixing. Wow, that is so, fluffy. So, this oh. egg, the egg whites will keep the, the dessert so light. It almost looks like a meringue. It? So, it let's like... start the half first. And then we'll, as soon as this completely absorbed, well incorporated to the mixture, we'll add the rest of the white. Is that what they call folding it in? Folding, yes, in terminology. I just do it. I don't even know what the terminologies are. I never learned how to cook, but now I'm learning how to talk to camera. 
while I'm cooking. Live. Imagine the camera is your audience and there are <laughs> lots of people on the other side watching you. Yeah, that's an ambition. But I am used to doing cooking classes, so this is again is not a problem for me. Doing this in front of camera. The only thing you miss for this video it. is the tasting and the arguing. <laughs> no mixture. This is this is I now I'm going to move it. <laughs> My husband who did something guys. So pour it over to this um, light lined um, cake tin. Uh, and uh, let me just I'll save some because I want to show you if you are in a hurry or out of time. This will take four to five hours to set, but if you're in a hurry, we can do it in a smaller containers, which will hopefully, and, and I think will uh, set in an hour. I did it for classes, and it's set before dinner. That's that size. Isn't it better? About 100, isn't, it, isn't it better with the big one to let it set overnight, though? Well, you can say, obviously, yes, for sure it's better to set overnight. But I always let it set, I always make it in the morning and ready for dinner time. So it's 12 hours for me, my experience. And it sticks in the freezer forever, forever and ever. And, what? too much clutter here. Have some more. You can't waste any of these delicious delicious creamy mixture I know as soon I know you won't be able to see on the camera the, the leaking afterwards so this is ready for freezing but before that you must cover it tight nice and tight and before that I also want to tell you that I had made uh, from peaches and persimmon with the same procedure, the same measurement. So here it is, covering it nice and tight because there are some other in the freezers. Yeah. Although I have specific compartment in the freezer specific for desserts only. So this this is the dessert I always have because yeah, you know you never know if you have surprise dinner. Okay, 12 hours ready for freezing and see you when we're ready for dessert. Maybe maybe 12 hours or mm. four hours. Here's the semi bredo after being sitting in the freezer for 12 hours. Now it's we're ready for. Dolce, here it is, let me show you, yeah, remove all the plastic wrap, uh, but before we can enjoy it, we have to uh, make the sauce first, which is chocolate and then mint, I'm going to dip the mint leaves to the chocolate, keep it in the freezer to firm it up, and that will be the sauce, and this is also the sauce. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry that you cannot taste it. I'm melting the chocolate, but 100 grams for two of us, and with butter, of course. Yes, and 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 as soon as it's melt, I'm going to dip the mint leaves in order to get the mint flavor. So I think we're done. We're done for this, and keep it soft a little bit, keep it cool a little bit before I can dip the mint and there it is. I melt it in a boiling water. Let me try first. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Ow, oh, it's hot. Hot, hot. Here's the chocolate, the mint chocolate, which I'm going to put it on the plate and dip more of this leaf. Yeah. Good, beautiful. And more. You can never have enough of this, so make more as you wish. This it should be look like before putting in the freezer. And I should show it to you after it came out of the freezer. This is going to be fantastic with this. Okay, as well as for chocolate sauce, I'm also adding strawberry puree, which has been macerated with icing sugar or powdered sugar if you like, with a little bit few drops, I may, I may say, few drops of lemon or lime juice and so that the juices will come out before you puree it. This is about 100 grams, a tablespoon of, of icing sugar. It will do. So this is, let me show you how, how I can do it this, this way. What happens if you do? If you, okay, if you don't have if you don't have this hand mixer, you can always use food processor or mash it with a fork. So here it is. I'm going a bit more puree, and now this this will do. If I can show you. If I can show you. How looks like after being pureed that will do we still have a little bit of bits in there but I think it's fine no problem with that chunky uh, chunky yeah chunky thank you darling but if you really like you can use this pass it pass it to the so. fine sieve then you will get fine puree really fine puree I like chunky well, some people, yeah, people like chunky, but only if you like fine puree. That's, that is the fine puree. It's gorgeous, too. Either way, it's gonna be good. In case the nefredo has become icy and hard, you have to take it off from the freezer for about 5 minutes to 10 minutes before serving. And here, this is... Let me just open it so you can see what it's, what's inside. The reason I'm using cake tin because I want it to appear that it's a cake. It's a cake. So here wow. it is. And you must line, you must line your cake tin. Otherwise, you will never. Ooh. It will be very hard to take to to slice it. It's like an ice cream cake. Well, it's frozen mousse. Uh, it's probably the correct term for this, which uh, in most restaurants here in Piedmont serve this, this particular dessert. So Ooh, here it is. Looking now, good. I also prepare the small molds in case you want to, if, if you're in a hurry, this will be ready in one hour or two from the freezer. So let me do a it again. Quick semi-freddo. Uh, semi a quick freddo. Well, well, it's semi-freddo we're talking here. So just like that, <laughs> as so, and, and, so I think I have to go back to the freezer first before this melts. Here's the fun bit, putting the sauces, which are chocolate first, just across that lovely, lovely semifredo. Oops, that's okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> no one's going to complain I have too much chocolate. That's more. Ooh, yes. Ay, 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 okay. Now, and pour over this lovely puree on the top, on the top, oh, and gorgeous. 
And then we have this mint chocolate. Mint chocolate that Mint leaves chocolate it. leaves. Leaves, okay. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, beautiful. Ah! And that. And in here. In there. Sits there. And that is gorgeous. Oh, but you know, you can mess up. If you make a mistake, don't admit it. Just add more mess. That's the cook secret. Yeah. Okay, add more to add more of these. Mint and here you are. Enjoy for the Okay, so now we are ready for our dessert. And I think for a dessert like this, nothing better I can think of than a Moscato de Asti. Which I'm going to pour some for the cook first so that she doesn't look bored while I'm talking. Oh. And now this is a, this Moscato de Asti is, now let me just give you a quick discourse here. Moscato de Asti is what is a cousin of the famous Asti Spumanti. And the Moscato de Asti is actual fact. They've taken the grapes, the beautiful, sweet, naturally sweet Moscato grapes. Mm -hmm. They've picked them when they're a little bit young and they've started the fermentation. And then after ooh, a few days or so, when it reaches about 5%, they stop the fermentation, they refrigerate the tank and then they filter off all the leaves and then you get this beautiful, delicately sweet, uh, natural sugar with a very light mousse from the Moscato grape. 5% alcohol, I call it a breakfast wine, with this beautiful, natural little bubbles, natural little mousse here. This particular one is from Dante Ribetti. And it comes from out of the winery over by Barbaresco, and it's actual fact in Nieve. <clears throat> it's actual fact the grapes are grown by some friends of Rina's and mine who live up in a little town called Mango. <laughs> it's this very high up in the Longy Hills, and it's where they grow the best of the Moscato grapes. So, without ado, we're going to enjoy this beautiful. Semi Vendo. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet. Mm. It's now. Now, for so the Semi Vendo. Bon Appetito. This is oh. Semi Vendo. Is it on camera? Oh. Mm. Delicious. Mm. It really is. Um, mm. Mm. The biggest problem with Rima Semifredo is that she has to hide it away too much. from me. It's too much. That Otherwise, no to me. I have no too much. control. <laughs> I will be hitting the freezer to take more nibbles all the time. Well, cheers. Cheers. See you soon. See you soon. Come to Piedmont when this whole yeah. Corona yeah. business is over. It might not be fair to say that everything is delicious, but the mint and chocolate and it's just wonderful. So delicious combination.